Hey everyone, Rahel Martinez here, aka Lucha Believer on Twitter. I'm excited to bring you episode 4 of Let's Talk About Wrestling. This past Saturday I was at the Tequila Taco and Cerveza Fest in San Antonio, Texas. And I was able to catch up with Lucha Underground stars Marty the Moth Martinez and Cortez Castro. Uh, they were there wrestling for Texas Wrestling Entertainment and um, I got to talk to Saint City Tacos try out some amazing tacos with some local wrestlers there so it was a great time i hope you enjoy this episode and uh, i'll just send it over right now we're at the taco tequila cerveza fest and you're watching let's talk about wrestling Tequila Taco and Cerveza Fest is a nationwide festival that hits different cities throughout the year. They offer local tequilas, taco trucks, and beers that you can try out and have a great time. There's plenty of fun and games, mariachis, lucha libre, tons of fun for the whole family. Check them out at ttcfest.com to see when they're coming to a city near you. gentlemen it is a triumphant return the second coming of let's talk about wrestling we haven't had an episode in a little bit but you know what i had to pull it out because we are at taco tequila and cerveza fest and i'm here with the one and only marty the moth hello first of all i've, I've got to say i am rogelio martinez oh nice marty the moth good martinez. to meet you brother yeah you know what do you think about the taco tequila and cerveza fest so far it has been excellent i've only had one shot of tequila which very makes makes me very sad i think that should be uh, remedied very quickly I still have to wrestle though, but other than that, this looks like a fantastic place to wrestle. I'm excited to make it happen. Now, have you ever wrestled in San Antonio before? I have in San Antonio, but never in downtown San Antonio. Okay, awesome. So this is actually, I've done WWE shows, and I did another show a couple weeks ago actually. And I'm back here again in two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've never though got the chance to be in downtown Salt Lake, or Salt Lake, in San Antonio. Um, so this is fun to see. I see the Riverwalk for the first time. This is an amazing place. Awesome. So uh, tell me, you, okay, it's taco, tequila, and cerveza. If you had to pick one, which is your favorite of those three? Let's see. Tacos are delicious. Beer, I don't really do. So cervezas, you're out. Sorry. Um, so tequila, you win. All right. Gotta go with a good time. What, what is what is your go-to uh, taco? I mean, I'm gonna go with taco because there's so many variations. Are you gonna go with go-to tequilas? Okay, uh, go-to taco, anything with meat in it, to be honest. Uh, tequila, anything the women are drinking, because where the women are and the drinks are flowing, that's where the fun is. Okay, this is going to be controversial. What type of tortilla with your taco? Flour or corn? Ooh. Flour every time. 
Awesome. See, that, that's the kind of person I am. But, that's you know, there's, right. There's those weirdos out there that like the corn, so I'm just kind of Weirdos. Like, you guys are weirdos. So we've got season four of Lucha Underground coming out next Wednesday. This, this Wednesday. Few, yeah, coming this, up. This Wednesday. This is a few days away. Uh, tell me how excited you are about that. I am stoked. Season four is going to be amazing. I didn't think Lucha Underground could up their game, and we did this season. New Temple. I got my hair cut last time, but as you can see, the locks are back, and they're even better for season four. So be ready, because you're going to have some fun. We got some new talent debuting. I know you can't really give us much, but how are you, how, you know, people leave the roster, people are joining the roster, but it's still a tremendous roster. But share your thoughts on that, just on the roster, the people you're working with on Lucha Underground. It's a tremendous roster, but it's a great roster. Everybody there has something unique that makes them stand out in that roster. I'm excited as all hell, because then I get to wrestle all these guys, and I have kind of carved out a crazy niche and my own spot for the roster. So I love it. It's fun. I get to experience a lot of fun stuff. Okay, lastly, tonight you're going up against your Lucha Underground fellow alum in Cortez Castro, aka Ricky Reyes. That's right. Uh, tell me, what you know? have you wrestled him before? I mean, I'm sure you've... you've, you've I've wrestled him one time in, a, in like a tag match. I think Joey Ryan was involved in it. It got weird. That's right. Uh, but yeah, I've wrestled before. I'm excited to do it again. I've never had you one on one, Ricky. I'm excited for it tonight. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Getting one on one. I mean, tacos, tequila, cerveza, and wrestling, you really can't go wrong. Hey, Marty, we really appreciate you. Creation. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Tongue tied at the very end. Uh, we really appreciate you taking the time to uh, talk to us on Let's Talk About Wrestling. And uh, I'm, next time, I'm, you're in Dallas uh, in a couple weeks. Two weeks, weeks two weeks, two weeks I'm at, in Dallas. At, at DCW. And uh, I'm going to get you a koozie then. We're going to get that on tape as well. All so, right, let's see that. Let's get some good shot right there. If you guys don't, you should go watch. Let's watch wrestling. Let's talk about Let's wrestling. talk about wrestling on the Hill Face Wrestling. Over here, watch my man over here, and he'll follow me at Martin Casals on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and my YouTube channel where I record all of this and show it to you. So find me. If you don't know how to spell that, Google Marty the Moth. You'll find me. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. He is a pro. He, I, I totally forgot about social media, and he totally nailed it. So thank you very much, <laughs> and we will see you next time. Hi, my name is Brenda. We are Saint City Tacos, and we have been doing this since uh, November of last year. Our specialty tacos are a variety of everything, and we have an award-winning picadillo, so please come and try us out on 35,000 hours. Okay, so we've been asking a couple people. We have the controversy between corn tortillas and flour tortillas for tacos. What is your go-to? Depends on the taco on the food. Okay. You know, there's like picadillo goes great on flour, but cochinita pibil goes really good good on corn. So it all depends on the food that you put on it. Okay, you personally, if you had to have a go-to taco, what would you what would it be? Asada. 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 Okay, so tell me which each of these tacos are right here. This is our Jamaican jerk with our cilantro, red cabbage, and a uh, cilantro lime crema, and a uh, habanero mango salsa on top of it. And our picadillo, lettuce, tomato, cheese, and we got our cochinita pibil with pickled red onions and cilantro on top of it. Awesome, and these are specialties that you serve? Yes, are these, we serve uh, them every single day for morning and tonight. My name is Dill Dempsey. And I'm Big Hoss Johnny Montana. And I'm Tony Torres. And I'm Jonathan Lyman. We are going to try these tacos right now. So, all right, who's my first volunteer? I'll go first. Okay, oh, there we go. We got, we got the picadillo, the Caribbean jerk, I'll go third. and uh, what is this? The puerco something. I'll, I'll try something the pink. puerco. Okay, so three, four, so one. one. Good bite. Good bite. That's a big bite. Good. Big bite. Yeah. These are good. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> good. So you definitely check out this restaurant. Mm -hmm. Which one, Randy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you got to give me a bite of that one when you're done. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, the picadilla. This is also an award-winning recipe. Actually, I'm just gonna say they're all award-winning because yeah, they look delicious. Really I'm also actually really good. Wow. Yeah. They're good. Awesome, here. If y'all don't like to watch people eat, you're watching the wrong show. 
Here we go. This right here is Caribbean jerk. And you better believe I'm gonna get a bite of that because that looks amazing. It's got all types of different special sauces and everything, so there we go. That picadillo is so flavorful. What kind of what kind of feelings are your mouth experiencing right now? Spicy, sweet, like a little bit of everything. It's really good, just like a Caribbean food. Nice. Okay, there's like six different flavors in that thing, and they all hit you, and then they combine. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's the best one, bro. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah, go ahead. Let, let them try that, man. This, this is... I got you, bro. I can attest for all these. These are award winning, ladies and gentlemen, and that's reality. Shut up, Bill. No. Hey, I don't know, man. There's a lot of flavor in these tacos. This one's better. You like the picadillo better? Mm -hmm. I think that Caribbean jerk, if you're wanting a unique experience, a unique taco experience, that's the way to go right yeah, there. It's yeah, it's too unique. That, that is, that's my... Uh, that's Puerto, though. That's yeah. really good. Okay. Just want to say, so it's a thumbs up from me for St. City Tacos. No, it's like two thumbs up, man. Thumbs two thumbs up, up three. three. If I had three. Oh, wait, I don't even know where I'm filming. There we go. Well, all thumbs up for St. City Tacos. All right, we are still here at the Taco, Tequila, and Cerveza Festival. We just got done filming and watching some awesome matches. There's one more match left, but this one's a big match. This one is the main event, and it is going to be Marty the Moth versus Ricky Reyes, a.k.a. Lucha Underground Star, Cortez Castro, a.k.a. Officer Reyes. We got a lot of AKAs there. Yeah. Tell me, man, what do you think so far of the Taco, Tequila, and Cerveza Festival? Oh, it's awesome. Uh, you know... We've been here all day, eating and drinking and enjoying the views, that one and her. Uh, yeah. You know, just enjoying everything that uh, taco festivals have to offer. Uh, have you wrestled in San Antonio before? Yes, uh, okay. quite a few times, mostly for uh, TWA, uh, for Rudy Gonzalez, but uh, you know, various promotions. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so you've got, in just a couple of days, Lucha Underground season four, premiering tell me are you excited about that yeah yeah everybody is uh, you know it was a long time coming going into season four uh, you know but it was it's always has a lot to do with you know the company you know and the networks and all that stuff everyone's got to you know cross their eyes and dot their T's so and it takes a little while but it is well worth the wait though season four is gonna be a blast uh, a lot of times I just ask myself during the break, how do we top season three? But somehow we find a way to do it. So I'm looking forward to it. So we got a new temple. We got a little bit of roster turnover. Got some new roster. Tell me, uh, how does it feel to work with a roster and, and just a group of people in general on the show? You know, that are top talent. It just makes your job that much easier. Honestly, I mean, uh, you know, being able to go out and wrestle all over the country and represent Lucha Underground like I do. Uh, is a blessing, you know, but then we get to the events where we're wrestling uh, Lucha Underground shows uh, for TV and stuff, and it's just it's just the atmosphere, the guys bring it every night, you know, it's, it's everything that you hope for as a professional wrestler, you know, like all elements line up there, everyone comes to work, you know, there's no days off there, and, uh, you know, we're, we're very, we're a small group, but we're a very proud group, and our fans are very, very vocal about it, so we enjoy it. So, you know, I was just thinking about it, you know, your character is such a vital part of one of the major storylines in Lucha Underground, you know, uh, and I was thinking about it, you know, you had your issues with Big Rick, you had the, the crew, they're gone now, you know, uh, and, you know, you had some issues with them as well, just considering your position, and, you know, butting heads with Joey Ryan as well because of the person that he is, you know, Officer Meehan. Uh, so tell me, do you think we'll ever see Cortez Castro in a partnership, a group, a relationship that doesn't, you know, end in someone dying or at odds? <laughs> well, would you uh, like not, to see that at least? I mean, I, well, after season three ended, I felt I ended on a pretty high note, winning the 5-0 street fight and going into the uh, the big seven way for the medallions uh, match. I felt that uh, I should definitely get my opportunity to be able to showcase my talent in my own in my own uh, avenue, my own lane, I guess you could say. So 
no matter what happens in season four, which I can't say anything about, obviously, uh, there's more to come. Just know that. So, you know, there's there's a lot still to be written and still to be done. And I feel that my character hasn't even been tapped into yet. To be honest with you, with you. like season three was a one big giant huge build up for Joey and I, and I think that we delivered. So if you haven't seen the 50 Street Fight, check it out because uh, a lot of our heart and soul went into that, going out there wanting to prove to not just our fans, Lucha Underground fans, but really the entire wrestling world that Joey Ryan and Cortez Castro can deliver uh, on a stage one-on-one. -on -one. That's right. Awesome. Okay, so now, we're like I said, we're at the Tacos, Tequila, and Cerveza Festival. If you had to pick one of the three, which would you pick? Tacos, tequila, or what? Cerveza. Cerveza. <laughs> I'd say I go with the tacos. Yeah, tequila. Tequila, <laughs> alright. You know what? Y'all are at odds tonight in a match, but Marty the Moth picked the same thing. Uh, <laughs> Maybe not surprising to, to some people. No, no. Uh, what is it but to me, the yeah. more the, the more interesting question because it's definitely a controversial is what is your go-to taco? Usually just carne asada. I like to keep it basic, yeah. street tacos. You know, that's that's what I I grew up in Southern California, so kind of taco trucks were a thing, and uh, you know, I live in Pennsylvania net for now. As more to come on that, but. Uh, yeah, I would say that. Just keep it basic, man. Yeah. Tacos are good, like, just all tacos, you know? So, uh, another controversial topic here. Corn tortilla or flour tortilla? Corn. Corn. That's the Californian right there. This, this that, that's a Californian right there. Okay. It's a fair question. Yeah, all right, wow. thank you, thank you. We got Lieutenant Dan here. In the the house, voice. The right. voice, Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, man, any last words? Any social media you want to plug? Or anything yeah, like Twitter, you know, we're on Twitter. Uh, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, all Facebook social media. Ricky Reyes, you know, look it up. Uh, there'll be, uh, you know, big announcements coming soon. Planning on making a huge change, uh, life change that I'll be announcing soon. Uh, it has a lot to do with this gentleman here. Helped me out so much. And we're going to continue this partnership in a much uh, higher level coming up soon. All right, guys. Well, thank you for checking out this episode of Let's Talk About Wrestling. Huge thank you to all the wrestlers who spoke to me, especially uh, Marty the Moth and Ricky Reyes. Um, just thank you for the interviews. Make sure to check out season four of Lucha Underground tonight and every Wednesday moving forward um, on El Rey Network. Um, huge thanks to Saint City Tacos. Those tacos are amazing. You need to check them out next time you're in San Antonio. Also, I want to say thank you to uh, Sarah who did the introduction for us. Also, um, big shout out to Rudy Boy Gonzalez and Texas Wrestling Entertainment. They put on a great show. Um, they brought me out there to film, so huge thank you to y'all. Um, also, let's see, don't want to forget anyone. Oh, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Taco Wear. Check out their website. Um, it's Taco Apparel and Taco and Hispanic Me Mexican themed apparel. Uh, check them out, you know. I hear it. Let's talk about wrestling. We're about, all about everything tacos, so maybe some uh, collabs in the near future. I don't know. We'll see. But just want to say thank you to everyone who is accommodating to me. Oh, the festival. Thank you for having me out there and um, allowing me to film and interview people and, and everything. So, hey, check out HeelFaceWrestling.com. Be sure to like this video. If you're watching on Twitch, thank you. If you're watching on YouTube, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, we will be seeing you later.